You can do whatever you want, Mercury. I'm winning this round. You sure about that, Venus? Even after I play this? You're cheating. How in the world would you get all those cards? All right, all right, one point to Mercury. You can win the next round, Venus. So, what are the rules of these card games exactly? Is this like Blackjack? Crazy 8? No, it's space poker. And the rules are... Uh, I don't know. We kind of make it up as we play. Huh. That explains a lot. Well, nobody saw this coming. No, not the Two of Diamonds! That's the most ultra-mega-powerful card ever! Uh, come on, Earth! I, I want to learn- Well, none of you saw my Nine of Hearts coming! What? Oh, come you on! You got to be kidding me! Seriously? Well, I guess it's just you and me now, Dark Side of the Moon. Oh, so you finally remembered I exist. Come on, that's not fair. Huh. Now that you're good buddies with the planets, you should ask them to let you join their game. But they never... Uh... D -d Dark Side of the Moon? Ah, oh, dang it. So, so a uh, two of of diamonds can beat a uh, uh, a six of spaces, but 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 a ten of hearts can can can. Uh. Hey, what is it, Junior? Wow, a spaceship or a sand ship? A space sand ship? Anyways, I love it. I'm sure your dad would love it as well. Go on, build a whole sand space station. Oh my! Hey, uh, son? I think it's time to leave. levels rising all across the world. Not only that, but two volcanoes across the globe are currently exhibiting volcanic activity. Continue to tune in for more information about this development as we continue to monitor these volcanoes. Huh. The planet is acting weird again. God knows what's happening this time. Uh, I can't solve this stupid cube thingy. Uh, honestly, my job is so boring. At least when I was at NASA, I had someone to talk to, but now? Now I just wait all day for Astro Dude to eventually pick up while I sit here. And where the heck is Astro Dude anyways? Is he even in space? Or dead? Yeah, I wouldn't mind either at this point. Huh. I've never seen this button. I wonder what it does. Whoa! What in the name of Jupiter? Hello? Mission General of Rots are here. Good day, sir. This is the Brilliant Balls Broadcasting Network. What can you tell us about these strange events that are affecting the Earth lately? What strange events? Oh, you mean the... the earthquake thingy? Well, well, why would I know anything about that? Well, aren't you the one that brought the moon back when it went missing? Or the one that saved the world when we were heading to the sun? Or when we were almost hit by an asteroid? Uh... is that what people think? I, I, I mean, uh... Yeah! It was I! <laughs> I have a show tonight at 8 p.m. Come by our offices, I'd love to interview you. Okay, bye reporter lady. Huh? What the... oh! Okay, makes more sense. We interrupt this episode for an important announcement. Venus, join Patreon, or I'll be mad. What? Venus? Uh, okay, I'll take over. Ahem. The Solar Balls team is made up of dozens of people, from directors, animators, voice actors, and more who come from all over the world. And believe it or not, doing this is our job. How cool, right? The thing is, to make more videos which involve more and more new characters, we need to hire more people. And we can't do that without your support. So support, if you can. 
But yeah, ever since we released our Patreon, we went from short videos to long epics like the Moon Revolution. And oh boy, with your help, you have no idea how many of our galactic ideas we'll be able to realize. So if you want videos one week early to be part of giveaways, or to join an exclusive Patreon community on Discord with our director, then... Ugh. Consider supporting the Patreon. You're too nice, you know that? Yep, I do. Now back to the video. Okay, I'm starting to get worried. Your dad has gone radio silent for several months now. Where in the world is he? You're right, he's not in the world right now. Welcome to Brilliant Balls Broadcasting. Today we have a very important guest. The man that supposedly saved us from not one, but three apocalyptic events. The Mission General of Rotsar. <laughs> Hi, world. So tell us, why are all of these strange phenomena happening? Well, uh, by strange phenomena, you mean... Constant earthquakes, sea level rising, active volcanoes all throughout the Earth. Why are these strange phenomena happening? Whoa, that sounds serious. Well, if you ask me, I... I would have to say... Take your time, sir. I would... have to go to these sites and conduct some research to know exactly what's causing all of this... something. What would you need to conduct all of this research? Oh, you know... tons of resources and money. I mean, I could save the world again if it wasn't for the taxes and economy, you know? You are so right. United Nations, assemble! Wow, guys! I honestly can't believe how fun this game is! Yeah, and you're getting quite good at it. Not as good as me, though. <laughs> Even after everything that happened, you still have some ego left, Earth. Just the right dose, Mars. Okay, Luna. I know I said I didn't want to talk, but, but I guess you also felt lonely when the planets ignored you before. Let's just make peace and talk, okay? L L Luna? You there? Hey, you can't fall asleep like this. If you lose focus, you could get pulled by the planet's gravity. Luna! Wake up! Luna! Hello, countries of the world! What is it this time, America? An alien invasion? Like your Hollywood blockbusters? Hey, when the aliens come, be happy they'll invade us first, and not you. Wait, is that why your army's so big? Well, duh. Uh, anyways, we all know that Valkind is facing another apocalyptic event. Or at least, uh, it seems like one's coming. Now, there is only one man alive who has somehow managed to save us over and over whenever our planet was in peril. So let me welcome to the stage the Mission General of Rotsar! Hey guys, good to be back. Why am I here again? Uh, I just explained. Wait, you you want me to save the world? But, but oh, don't worry. I saw your interview the other day and I know of the challenges. Oh, okay. This is why I'm proposing a notion to declare you a ball facer. Uh, what? Well, basically, you'll have all the resources you need to conduct your mission to save this planet. Well, as long as everyone in this room agrees. But how am I going to convince them? I'm just one dude. Oh, wow. He's so humble. Only someone with such humility deserves the role of ball facer. Guys, really, this is serious. He's all right. This is serious. Let's all vote now. All right, whoever's in favor of giving this guy the power of ball facer, raise your hand. Are you all serious? Yeah, bro, this is super serious. Now save the world, will ya? But where should I start? This was one long climb. Any data we can report? The world is waiting for you to do or say something. Uh... Okay, we're going live in three, two, one... Wait, wait, wait! We're here at the edge of an active volcano with the now-declared ball facer of the planet, the Mission General. Okay, stop! Stop! Listen, I'm happy everyone now looks up to me, but 
but I don't know what I'm doing. It's okay to be stressed. This is not stress. I have no clue what to do. Do you even see all of this equipment? I don't even know how to turn them on. And it's so freaking hot out here. I just, I just want to go home and get a cold soda and, and... And? The sea level has risen a lot since yesterday. Uh, yeah. It hasn't stopped. And the volcanoes and the earthquakes. This must be because of the tectonic plates. Do you think it's a problem with the center of the Earth? Could be, but with the changes of the sea levels, that leads me to think that... Oh. Whoa, the full moon looks beautiful tonight. Yup, that's because it's heading towards us. Wait, what? Yup, mystery solved. Thank you, everyone. Time to leave the planet. See ya! <laughs> Want to watch the next part? Eh? Well, join our Patreon to watch it and support the show.